Hey guys, it's time to do a speed test comparison between the almighty iPhone 7 Plus here uh, versus the Galaxy A8 2016. So I've been using the iPhone 7 Plus uh, as you guys may know that I did switch to this one completely as my main device and I'm absolutely loving it. Experience is great. So we're going to put this one uh, against the A2016 recently released Samsung device that has the greatest touches UI of the Note 7. So uh, both devices are off. I'm just going to quickly boot them up at the same time. So obviously uh, there is around $150, $180, $200 difference in the price between the A8 2016 versus the iPhone 7 Plus, at least where I live. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see how fast the iPhone is considering you know you have to pay more for this one so let's see here which is going to boot up faster okay the Galaxy A 2016 is done iPhone for some reason is taking some time normally it is a it, is, it takes a less time but the A 2016 is the winner when it comes to booting up so I'm gonna quickly enter the passcode over here and you can see that both phones have 1080p display. Uh, the iPhone 7 Plus, of course, has a 5.5 inch 1080p display. This one is having 5.7 inch. And uh, also, both phones have 3 gigs of RAM. Uh, the hardware inside of the um, of the Galaxy A 2016 is actually same as the Galaxy S6. So, uh, yeah, uh, if we can take a look at the Wi-Fi network. So, I'm just going to go into settings and connect to the same Wi-Fi network here. Let's see here, okay, Clivalona, there we go, so let's see here, everything is closed up in the background, and uh, we're going to start off with some basic stuff, okay, so how about loading up settings, let's see here, let's go, hmm, actually I just opened the setting, but you can see that was very similar, next we got phone dialer, and I think the Galaxy A2016 was a bit quicker because uh, I think it has like a faster animation compared to iPhone. So, but it was really close. Uh, we can load up another system based application that's going to be Clock. And I think that is also very similar. And you can also notice that if I'm just go, if I just quickly go back to that application, I can just show you the home button response on both phones. Look at that, absolutely similar stuff there. Uh, let's launch something like uh, a third party application. Obviously, we're going to go ahead and launch Instagram. So, if you have not followed me on Instagram, do follow me there. Let's go. And let's see here. The okay, that was close again. You guys are the judge here. Um, I think the A2016 was faster, bit quicker there. Maybe that was a draw. Like I said, you guys are the judge here. So obviously, it's kind of hard to pay attention through this camera because, you know. So let's uh, move on towards some some hardcore stuff, some games. So we're going to launch GTA San Andreas in both devices. And let's see here. Okay, Galaxy A8 2016. Here, uh... Okay, so a little bit different UI, but I guess the A2016 was a bit quicker. We can confirm that by loading up the game here. Let's resume. Okay, so iPhone 7 Plus is done, followed by the A2016. Obviously, gaming is just so top-notch on the iPhone like it's really difficult to beat this device as far as gaming is concerned. Next we got Uber and I guess that was pretty similar. Uh, let's see here we have Viber okay and this time the Galaxy A8 2016 is faster. Uh, let's launch the uh, the Subway Surfer. Oops my bad. Let's launch this one again. Okay, don't allow. The iPhone is done, followed by the A8 2016. I have to say that A8 2016 is actually getting closer and closer to the iPhone as far as opening of game is con games are concerned because, I mean, um, 
this is uh, the hardware is actually from 2015 but the software is of course uh you know the note 7 grace ui it's it's the 2016 software so i think they have optimized software to work well with the hardware somehow some way you know sammy boy let's uh, see here sub uh, the smash hit game let's see the iPhone is done, followed by the AA2016. So really, iPhone is, of course, providing you like one second, two second faster speed as far as gaming is concerned. So it's up to you to see if whether all that speed is uh, worth spending that much money or not. Uh, I mean, I know that lots, lots of other factors comes into play like iOS experience Android, but really, this is just a speed test, okay? Chill out, and <laughs> we're gonna launch camera and see here which one can load that one faster let's go and the galaxy a8 2016 is faster there's there so impressive stuff uh we're gonna do a browser test so i'm gonna be using default browser on both devices safari versus the internet here so first website we have is wwe.com and i'm just gonna hit uh, go here at the same time and we're gonna notice which one it will finish off first so galaxy a8 2016 first one to come to the website and it is almost finished at the end let's see here can iphone make a comeback no galaxy a 2016 is done and the iphone is still taking some time although it is on the website but it is still loading so i'm gonna close this thing here and really there's no point in waiting so i'm gonna go ahead and move on towards the next website uh, which is going to be wikipedia.org so let's type in here let's go and see which one can be faster here and again the galaxy a 2016 is faster so impressive stuff uh, let's go back and check out the ram management here and see if they have closed the applications in the background or not first off settings no refresh both have three gigs of ram phone dialer okay kept in the memory let's go on to the clock let's go over to some games okay instagram no refresh next we have GTA San Andreas you can see loaded up nicely both devices and let's see here Uber no refresh at all Viber okay let's see here Subway Surfer wow impressive stuff by both devices i mean really you can see a 2016 is top notch when it comes to the ram management just like the iphone so yeah that's just wraps up our whole speed test video here i hope you guys have enjoyed it iphone 7 plus a 2016 uh, you guys are the judge here you can decide the winner for yourself and let me know what more videos you want to see uh, I've seen a lot of people requesting a comparison with the note 5 so I'll be doing that and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one peace